Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is something very, very new. This is a VR game. I've got an Oculus headset strapped to my face right here in front of me. Ooh, I got hands. And uh, this is going to be something that I'm very interested in because a lot of you probably don't know. I am a huge Doctor Who fan. I can keep this hand down. I've been watching it since I was 12 years old. I started with David Tennant, the 10th oh, Doctor, who is one of my favorite actors in the series the whole, for like the longest time along with Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi but this is a, from the iteration of the newest Doctor Who series which I haven't really been in, all that impressed with lately but I am very interested in this a Doctor Who VR game and plus it has like the Time Lord Victorious I've seen that advertised my Instagram I haven't really been I don't really know what it's about but I'm very excited about that. So my plan is to play, to uh, play through this series through the default settings and gameplay, and then later on, if I have time, I'll try Time Lord to Victorious because I'm very interested in that. I'm and I've heard that has to do with the Tenth Doctor and his TARDIS. I am very interested to see that. And plus, I am just excited and geeking out about this because I'm seeing the freaking TARDIS in full view in front of me. And it's full scale and it's gigantic and I love it. It's just looking so cool and just ominous. Anyway, uh, if any of you don't know what Doctor Who is, it's this old series from the TV series from starting at the 60s. A sci-fi British television series about an alien who crashes down to Earth who's been alive for like thousands of years. And he's a time traveler and he's basically the savior of Earth. He just protects Earth from the aliens like the Daleks and the and the Cybermen and all these other crazy weird creatures that come in and attack Earth trying to invade. Anyway, it's a great series. I especially love seasons, not, not series, series 5, 6, through all the way through 9 and 10. But I haven't really been impressed with the latest series, series 13 or whatever, but anyway... I am really excited to see this. Anyways, I'm going to start with the new game, regular default, and then if I have time, I'm going to do Time Lord Victorious, which I really want to try out. So, we'll just jump ahead and go ahead and jump right into it. I'm so excited. I'm stuttering so much. And let's uh, start a new game. Yes, I actually started trying to start earlier, but I forgot I wasn't recording. So, let's just go ahead and start over. Well, I hope I get to fly that thing. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Am I still facing the microphone? Yes, I am. Great. I try not to move so much because I want to stay in front of the mic and get some good audio and not ruin the video. This is definitely different. I'm standing in the middle of my bedroom. Oh. We are in a laundromat. That's new. That is very new. Can I grab the door? Where do I go? Oh, I can move. Oh, this is very, very trippy. What do I do? Hey! Do I need to do my laundry, I guess? Oh, that sounded very weird. I don't know what's going on here. Don't worry, you're gonna be okay. Uh. Alright, full disclosure. I can't absolutely guarantee that, but I can guarantee this is gonna be the most amazing day of your life. Is this is that Jody? Is that Jody Whitaker? Right. I better fill you in on what's going on. Oh, just so you know, Jody Whitaker, she's the thirteenth doctor, the current serious doctor in the series, in the show. Uh where do I go? There's no instructions. I'm kinda of confused. I guess I'm gonna do laundry. I'm just gonna ignore what she's talk what she's saying. I'm gonna ignore you, Jody. Don't take it personally. Oh, it's my, my audio cut out really weird there for a second there. Okay, so where do I need to go? Do I even need to do my laundry? Where are my clothes? Uh, what do I do here? I'm going to stop this here for a second. Where did I go? I guess I just... I have an old cable hooked up to my headphones on my head and it's kind of... I need a new cable. Let's see if 
Oh, it's coming unplugged. Oh, it's just all this extra weight. The cable's huge. It's like really freaking long. Uh, do I need to grab the phone here? Okay. Okay. I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Actually, we can do better than this. Hold on. I'm shifting device. Okay. What are we going to do? Not exactly impressed with the models here. I, no. I can talk to you using local tech, and believe you me, I'll need to keep in touch because, sorry about this, you're the only one who can help me save the universe. Woo! Cool. I am the only one. Nice. And, oh, yeah. I'm the doctor. I'm sure you're the... Okay. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay. This is new. I do not like the red. What? What happened to this? Whoa. That, that was the time glitch. Nasty and dangerous, but you better get used to them. Long story short, okay. imagine the infrastructure of time and space is a hard drive, and all living matter, everything that ever was or will be, is what software. What is that? Well, Someone's unleashed a virus that's attacking the hard drive and the software, meaning reality itself is being hacked. Wiped, that doesn't sound good. Degraded. This reality virus is corrupting the past, present, and future. That... Now, I need you to check out the washing machines. And when you do, please, don't freak out. Okay. What do I do? Hacking the hard drive and software of the universe? That doesn't sound good. What do I do? Those ooh, 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 ooh. Vicious amphibians sometimes used as guards by races like the Stenza and Zygons. They're deadly carnivores with no table manners and a taste for human flesh. They shouldn't even be in this system. We can thank the reality virus for them showing up here. Right now they're incubating, but that won't take long. Then they'll smash out of the machines. So you've got to get out of there sharp. Okay, okay, okay. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Looks like there's only one exit through the back door in the manager's office. Be careful, and whatever you do. Okay, okay. That is. Okay. Okay, where do I go? 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 Where am I? We need to get the electricity back on in the manager's office so we can see what's what. Check out the fuse box and try to get it working again. Where's the fuse box? Where's the fuse box? Where's the fuse box? Where's the fuse box? Oh, I'm guessing it's this right here. I can... Ah, oh, looks like one of the fuse blocks is missing. There's got to be some more in there somewhere. Okay. Uh, uh, I can't see a bloody thing. Oh, I tried this one. That's cool. Uh, 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 I can't see anything. It's so freaking dark. Is it one of these? No, no, no. Is it in there? No. The fuse block looks like a little black box. It's around there somewhere. You're really close to it. I'm really close, huh? How come I can't see it? Because it's so freaking dark. No, those are just books. Those are just books. We need to get the electricity back on in the manager's office oh. so we can see what's what. Check out the fuse box and try to get it working again. Oh, was it right here the whole time? Okay. Great. Now turn that big old lever. That should restore the power. You've got to find the combination to the safe. It's four digits. Four digits? Have a poke uh, around and see if you can find out what they were. Okay. Great work with the fuse box. Right, okay. Give this place a quick once over, would you? Okay, uh, uh, okay, numbers, I need to find numbers, uh, oh crap, okay. Take the photo, oh, that's gotta be a part of it, 14, 14. ace, but you still need another two digit number, so keep looking, and get your skates on, because the hydrox are almost done incubating, and trust 14, me, you do 14, not want 14, to be around 14, when they break 14, free. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, no? Were there any other photos? Back by the washers? Back by the washers? Wait, where am I? 
I'm facing the wrong way! Okay. Uh. Focus, focus, focus. But you still need another two digit number, so keep looking. All right, uh, uh, uh. No. Well, that's it. They are our friends. Uh. Got an idea. Why don't you check out some of the photos the manager had on display? How on display? Uh. I already checked one out, it didn't work. Oh, I mean, it did work, but, uh. Were there any other photos? Back by the washers? Back by the washers? You want me to go back in there? I don't want to go back in there! Okay, uh, uh. Back by the washers, you want me to go back in there? Still need another two-digit number, so keep looking. Uh, 14, and where else? Got an idea. Why don't you check out some of the photos the manager had on display? Where? Which photos? You're not being very specific, lady. Jody. Uh... There are a whole lot of photos. Were there any other photos? Back by the washers? Back by the washers? You want me to go like really, really close? I really don't want to. Two hours later. close it. I forgot I could pick up photos off the wall. I am an idiot. Okay, so 1483. Try to open the safe using the two sets of numbers you found. Yes! Ooh. Oh, I love my sonic screwdriver, mm. so don't lose it. Actually, I'll show you a nifty little trick to keep it safe when you're not using it. Okay. Move your sonic screwdriver to your waist. Move your socks right to your waist. Press the tree button. Super handy that. Grab the Sonic then. Word of warning, the Hydrox are on the verge of breaking out, so you better get a move on. You need to unlock the door using the Sonic. Alright, let's see. Aha! That's really handy. Alright, now I'm in here. Oh! The sky is black. Red, not black. Alright, where do I go? Oh! Sorry to interrupt. Do me a favor, would you? Pop this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. Thanks. Look, that door won't hold the Hydrox for long. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we okay. can. So, you've got to knock up a nifty little device that'll help you escape. You're gonna need three things. First, the radio I'm speaking to you through. We can take that one off. Okay. You'll also need a power source, some sort of battery, and something to transmit a signal. A satellite dish would do. Satellite dish? Where can I find a satellite dish? Uh, there's a light, a propane tank, a flower pot. I just have to look around to find a... Satellite dish. Let's see what's in. Pop to it then. Find those items and put them on the workbench. So I need a satellite dish and a power source of some kind. No, no. Don't want to worry you, but the hydrox are getting stronger, and I'll soon be through that door. So get a move on. I understand, but I'm trying to find what you're asking for, and I'm not finding anything. Sonic the 
kind of powerful battery in this old junkyard. And better put that car battery on the workbench. There we go. Battery, battery, and other power source. Good, 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 good. Try finding a car battery. That should do there the go. trick. Car battery. I am loving your work. Alright, uh, no, you need something like this. Where can I find something like this? Something like this, something like this, something like this. Oh, that's handy. Uh, you just got to get one more item. Uh, the satellite device. No. Okay, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, there's got to be a satellite dish somewhere around here. Device. It's not like I'm asking for the moon. Although technically speaking, the moon is a satellite. Alright, uh Where would you normally find a satellite device? Like one of those little satellite dishes attached to a wall. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Give it a good sonic. That should get it down. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. That was actually a pretty good hit. Right, now plunk it on the workbench next to this radio. Alright, oh, no. Right, use okay. the sonic on them. Alright, here we go, and... That's it. Take up at maximum power. Oh, you are gonna love this bit. What? Ooh, is that what I think it is? Yes! Yes! Yes, there it is! Oh, something's happening. Not good. Very not good. I'm losing my visuals on you. And my connection. I'm losing... Change touch indicate Garnet Graham technology. It is the TARDIS. It is the Doctor's TARDIS. It must be acquired. Pretty cool. Here we go. Welcome aboard. Oh. Come in then. Make yourself at home. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, there's the doors of the TARDIS. Wish I had time to give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. So, here's the skinny. Do people still say here's the skinny? What actually is the skinny? Never understood it, to be honest this with you. Is so cool. I mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture. I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way, I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. But I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Okay. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. Okay. That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. Oh, that's supposed to be the Earth? You've got to find those three pieces of Zyton. Lovely. And let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. We are so calling them time crystals from now on because that sounds way cooler. Alright. The hologram's going to be patchy from now on. Ooh, I'm guessing it's the reality virus go. messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to the console and I'll tell you what needs to okay. be done. Alright. Am I facing the right way? Yes. Alright. The TARDIS has switched to autopilot mode. Don't take it personally, just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it and I'll guide you through what you okay. need to oh, do. That's cool. Ready? Okay, as a wise man once said, Alonzi! 
but I think I know what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> this is so anticlimactic. Come on. Uh, of course. Never mind. Have another go. <sighs> okay. Mm. Ah! I didn't try and do anything. Okay. In the right order you're showing me. Uh, not quite. Give it another shot. Okay. What did you do that for? Give it another go. I'm doing it right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm hoping it gets to the end. Uh, not quite. Give it another what shot. am I supposed to do? Uh, not, not quite. Never mind. Uh, Have another go. Uh, what quite. am I supposed to do? Give it another shot. It's just going too fast. They should help locate it. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? What do I do with this? Do I still so have to come at you? Okay. Give it another shot. Okay. This way. This way. This way. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a correct order thing. You're getting good at this. Not quite as fast as my PB, but you're knocking at the okay. door. Well, you're approaching the porch. Drive okay. Bay, call this up, whatever. Okay. What now? I like that. That's cool. Are you actually going somewhere or something? Okay. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I wasn't paying attention. This, 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 and then this. Okay. Okay. Big one first. Big one first. Big one first. Big one first. Okay. I'm learning. Okay. This one. This one. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then that. Okay. There we go. Hey. Neat. Yes. I thought I was going to find this part. This is cool. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm impressed. We've landed on Lucia Minor. Once you step outside the TARDIS, I won't be able to communicate with you. At least not this time. The local auto defenses won't allow it. Okay. I have a feeling you won't be on your own for long though. But you've got to get a shift on. With the reality virus and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. Okay. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever and the universe is toast. Okay. Good luck. You can do this. Okay. 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 And just like that, we're on another world. I'm going to close the door behind me because that's what... Oh. There we go. Oh yeah, that's so cool. All right. Whew. I guess my years of video game training have uh, 
helped. I'm supposed to go down this way. So let's just go down this way. There we go. And we're looking for a time crystal wherever it's supposed to be. And I am on my own. This will be fun. Ooh, what's this? Oh my days! It really is you! Ah, I can not wait to see you again. Wait, is this... I've got to be quick because there's a time glitch like imminent. So just listen to me. Hmm. You're on Lucia Minor. Everyone thinks everything is okay, but it's not. The glitch that's about to happen will change everything. Will have invented this place. But you can't help. You have to help. Okay. Oh. Okay. You're here. At last. I'm Emma, in case you were ever gonna get around to asking. Okay. And if you want some free advice. I'd get the hell out of there. Can't you swing? Oh, I don't want to be here, this but I have to. Are hungry tonight. Alright. Wait, hold on. Need anything else? What do I do with this? I can't strap it to my hips, I guess. I just set it back there. I don't like the fact that I have to use a flashlight. That sounds horrifying. Well, just like in the fashion of Doctor Who, there's gonna be some scary bits in it. I don't know what that's for. Okay. Where do I need to go? Maybe I shouldn't go that way. Maybe I should just go this way. Because this thing rolled from down there. I am going to guess I'm supposed to go up there. Ooh, what's that symbol on the wall? That's interesting. Ooh, this looks important. I guess I'm supposed to be here. Is that a Dalek? Okay. Good find. Okay. Oh, oh. Did I just hit my microphone? Okay, I'm not supposed to pick that up. Okay. Now, it looks like that was a pe piece of Dalek, like one of its arms or something. I'm really hoping the Daleks won't be too. Oh, 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. Ooh, ooh, this looks important. This looks important. Ooh, looks like some kind of spacecraft or something. Ooh. Okay. Later that same evening. And then green. Uh, I think. Nope. Oh, I got it. I think I got it. 
so let's see. Ah, uh, come on. Ah. Ah. I, to I am just but stupid. So where do I need to go? I guess this way. I need to remember to fall to stay in front of the microphone. So what do I do with this? Control wasn't here before. Those engineers must have hidden it for a reason. Nope, can't sonic it. Did I just screw it up? Hope I did. It's already really late. What time is it? 12.45. Holy crap. Okay. Alright. Oh! This was pushed down! Okay. You're a step closer to rescuing me. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is that? What was that up there? Okay. There you go. Oh, zero gravity. That's fun. That's cool. I actually got one of these coming in the mail sometime. That'll be fun. I remember this place. Me and Jerry used to play cards here. This is going to take more than a sonic screwdriver to... Guess we go down here this way first. There we go. This ship uses a fiber optic laser interface. State of the art stuff. I helped to install it. So if you want to take control of this ship and set me free, you're going to have to get busy with some lasers. There's this big red flashing button that I'm very tempted to push. Anytime you see a big red button, you have to push the big red button. Quoting David Tennant. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> I was right! The funny thing about lasers is, yes, they can blind you in the blink of an eye, but they can also be bent and bounced around quite easily. Okay, so... Am I going to get to play with lasers? Ooh, so maybe... Oh, I gotta turn it. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Stay this way. I don't want to get hit by the lasers. This laser needs to somehow be redirected into the main chamber. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, 
so maybe what I need to do is take I need to bounce it into there, maybe. Nice. Oh, okay. There we go. Changes it into a single. There we go. I think. I may have done it. Aha! I opened that. Maybe I didn't need to mess around in there. Who knows? We'll find out. Still recording. Yes. Okay. More lasers. I got stuck on this for a week when I first tried it. Come to think of it, I never did <sighs> solve it. That bodes well. Another big red button. Okay. So I guess. Ooh, joysticks. Joysticks. So where do I need to hit it? Oh, I need to hit into there, maybe. Another one of those. Where can I get one? That's a two channel. I need a three channel. Okay, so what can I find? Another three channel. I don't think I need this one. No, I will. I do need that one. I don't think I need this one. No, I do need this one for maybe. Nope, okay, I do. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, now we're in business. Yes, there we go. Did it. Yes, the all right. The bridge is open. I always knew you were more capable than you All right. I don't know what I look like in this game, so I'm assuming that's a compliment. Uh, this way, yes. I guess these are people trapped inside here. Alright. I think I need to turn to the left. In here, maybe. Ooh. Man, the ship's taken quite a beating. Once you come yes. and set me free, I'll have to start yes. repairing this right away. Gallifreyan uh, robe armor, whatever you call it. Yes. That's nice. That's really nice. I really do not like the way these look. We are overjoyed that you've come here. We welcome you. We love you. We love you. We're the Slicesters. We left our home world many, many overnights ago. We began our journey. Oh, the faces would light up on the ones you're talking, okay. Prove 
trapped in here so I guess what do I need to fix exactly there we go guess I need to drop down there Pushing buttons. That's not so bad. Okay. Where am I now? Oh, oh. Okay. Here we go. This is more like it. This is more like a. You did it. Uh, You've restored bridge. all systems. I'm getting to like you. And at last, we meet properly, face to face. I'm Emma. Sorry, we've already done that. Just so pleased you're here to rescue me. I've been locked up for. You're ages. the computer, I'm guessing. <laughs> Over, here. Over here. You're looking right at me. Uh -huh. It's me. Emma. Help me. Help me. And I'm back in the room. Oh, there you are. The minute you entered the flight deck, the ship's systems reverted to normal. Like taking your phone off airplane mode, meaning I can contact you through local tech. But Emma, I am sorry. I am so sorry. You were originally the Lucia Miner's emergency life support system, designed to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them, you couldn't accept that loss. You adopted the characteristics of a crew member, probably your favorite. And over the years, you've come to fully believe in the construct you created. But Emma, I recognize you as an emergent new life form and promise to transfer you to a more appropriate system. In other words, I will get you out of there. Oh, I failed to protect the original crew of this ship, but I will not lose you or your friend. My friend. Me? Here's what I've learned from the ship's computer. That's nice. There's life to say that's open there. On attention, and without it, they devolve into Tasmans, mute, oh, foul that's a face. hunters, banished from the Slicer. That's interesting, that's a face. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored, and dozens of planets will be obliterated. The Slicers plan on getting away using escape capsules. Of course. The Slicers know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable. But they'll reckon being put on trial for genocide will give them all the attention they crave. Emma. I need you to change the ship's flight plan and unlock the time crystal we came here for. Can you help? Oh, the Slicers have locked me out of, of the system. Oh, but there's a manual override. Right then, right. my human friend, you're up. We need to put Emma in the driving seat, so you've got to override those three controls. with this. Charge them with the Sonic. Brill, keep going. Oh, hey! 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 Save yourself! There's no time to rescue me, but I've managed. 
managed to change the Lucia Minor's okay. course. She'll crash into the deserted planet, destroying the slicers and me. Now go! Wow. I thought I had first dibs on dramatic okay. entrances. Well, grab it then. Before you go, quickly, Sonic the emergency life support system. The panel with the flashing lights. Quickly! Panel with the flashing lights? Okay. I don't know the flashing lights. There's a lot of flashing lights in here. <coughs> Which one is it? Goodbye! That was a kindness. No, you haven't got I, much time to escape. Just before my headset Go dies. through the door that just opened and get back to the TARDIS. Alright, I need to get out of here before my headset dies so I can finish this up real quick. Because I didn't think the charge before recording, and... Oh! Oh, Artificial gravity systems are now failing. Repeat. Onboard gravity now failing. Virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? But you know what? You managed to get something else very important. When you zapped the controls, you downloaded Emma into the Sonic screwdriver. Oh. I offered the slice to oh, that's already been to used escape, before. but I chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay, we've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. Okay. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's data banks is now in her memory. Okay. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At All right. So. If you don't, it's end of the world time, so no pressure then. All right. I know this probably feels weird. Me talking to you like this via the nano translator in your brain I can talk to you offer advice process readings and data and stuff like that but I can't help you in any physical sense okay Soz. activate the TARDIS when you're ready well, there you go oh here we go and there we go there we go. Well, that's awesome. I love being able to interact with all this stuff. Hello, London. Year's a bit fuzzy, but end of the Victorian era, I'm guessing. And from the readings the TARDIS is relaying to me, I'd say the time crystal is... Oh, you know what? I think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. <laughs> Let's take a closer look where we are. All right, so... Go. I can't guide you this time. I've got too much to do back here, but Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to trap the time crystal. So get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. Later. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. Good luck. All right. Done talking. You done talking? Oh, yep, I guess she is. All right. I believe that is a good place to end this. So, that will be part one of this series I'm going to be going through. Anyway, that will be part one of this series, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's really interesting. And there's some of the puzzles that are just really hard for me to figure out just because my brain just doesn't really process information that well, and I'm just kind of figuring this out all out. So anyways, 
thank you guys for watching if any of you actually did and so i will be uploading part two very soon maybe when i have time to record so there you go anyway thank you guys for watching and we'll get the second time crystal in the next one and then go to the third one in the part three probably that's probably how this will work so anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one